Okay, here to talk about some Blu-ray release, not Blu-ray, DVD releases, but I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm going to make the title yet. Alright, Best Buy has been a huge disappointment, and this is another blow to physical media, and this is a huge blow to Best Buy itself. Now, I know in the past I've always, you know, blamed Best Buy. This is Best Buy's fault, though. They need to start sticking up for their, the people that buy stuff there. Even if me or someone else, a small group of people that collect DVD moon box sets because they don't give you a Blu-ray option, um, they shouldn't let these people down. There's no reason or way they would lose a huge amount of profit if they were to put a few DVDs on the floor for, say, a, for, say, um, for any released set. I'm going to tell you two release sets where I had to go to Amazon. The first time I've had to go to Amazon for a box set in an, a long time. The only time I would usually go to Amazon is if I wanted, uh, I was looking for a replacement or something that I already had. This time, I had to go to Amazon for Blue Blood Season 9 and NCIS New Orleans Season 5. You're asking why? Because if you look at the pre-order now, it's August 9th, 2019. It comes out August 20th, 2019. That's what it said, at least. How in the hell... How in the hell do you not release these sets? They, they have the rest of them. Go, if you, for Blue Bloods, you go back from Season 8, and before that, it's all on Best Buy. You go to NCIS New Orleans, before that, it's all on Best Buy. So so what happened? I'd like to know. Amazon has these two sets set up perfectly, but Best Buy doesn't have it. Now why wouldn't Best Buy offer it is beyond me because Best Buy was was, I'm gonna say, one of the best local places you could go to get a movie. Because remember, in in the the years that precede us right now, there was really no way you could get a box set. Like you will get from Best Buy at day one. They, Target had a few. They pretty much have nothing now. Um, places like FYE, if you do find something, it's like well above any price out there. But Best Buy was always the place to go to. Now that they don't even carry anything anywhere is a huge blow to their movie department. Um, I guess they don't want to pursue it. What I never understood particularly about places like Best Buy, is that they are full of televisions, even Blu-ray players. They're all the same time Blu-ray players got canceled, but they're still full of Blu-ray players, televisions of all kind of quality, 720p, which is only like a couple because they're almost dead, all the way up to 4K, and they don't want to pursue the movies that are right next to them. That's a selling point. Whether they're more expensive for or not makes no difference. They're right inside the store next to all the televisions. Why wouldn't you want to sell them? Another thing I've noticed when I went into Best Buy the last couple of times is that they have a store full of movies that are all outdated movies that are from like the last year or the year before. They have all the room to put these outdated movies that are obviously not going to sell any longer. Remember, um, I know because I go in the store and these movies are always in the same spot all the time. We, These movies aren't selling. They've been here for like months at a time or years. Why? Those could be the spots where the new television shows could go. It's not a matter of room. If they want to sell something to make money, they'll find room for it. But still, the television department's very, very thin there too. You go to Best Buy now... Unless you try to find a brand new show, the odds of finding a television show are very slim. If they have a, sh for instance, if they have a, um, if they have a season of The Flash on Blu-ray or DVD, they're only going to have one or two of them. They're not going to have the, the all those seasons that are out. I'm talking, speaking too fast. Um, that, that sucks. They should have every se remaining season out. They have the room on the shelf. Did they have enough shit that doesn't sell already? You can just bring in, have the vendor bring bring in whatever that's needed to put it on the shelf. Now, I understand the vendor may not bring it to Best Buy anymore because it doesn't make any money. But at, le at least do it 
for the shows that are almost finished. Like, for, say, all the DC shows. They're pretty much done, almost. The Flash, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow has probably got what? I've got another... I don't even pay attention, but it's not that far from being shut down. Um, this, Gotham is done. I just... I don't get why the companies do this to people. Why they can't just finish things out. I don't understand. It makes no sense. Let me uh, let me use another show for an instance. It hasn't been out in a really long time. It was out last year, but it was years before it came out. The Simpsons. Everyone loves The Simpsons. I do too. But after so many years, you know, it gets sickening. I looked at some of the reviews at some of the show episodes, the latest the latest episodes, and how bad the reviews were. And how, how I can understand why they wouldn't make future releases. The Simpsons is one thing I'm going to say. Don't make another release ever again. I'll probably buy it if they do, but um, I'm not hoping for it, nor do I wish to have one. For the Simpsons fans out there, just get it in your head. that, that They've taken so many breaks from your show, then they released the DVD, and now they're taking another break. Do you honestly think it's worth it at this point? The show, the only way The Simpsons will be released on DVD will be a complete set of the television show once it is already finished. No way they're going to finish all those shows. Why do you think they didn't give you a Blu-ray Blu release the last time around? They didn't give you a Blu-ray release because, um... It's probably because of the, the, the money you were making. It's such a shame. It really is. Okay, now, um, let's see. Not only that, but I, w I was looking at Homeland, which is coming out Tuesday. I, I didn't buy it yet because I just wanted to see for the hell of it. It's a DVD release because, they, like I said with Homeland, I said this in other videos, Homeland was released on Blu-ray every single year until this release. Um, it's a DVD only, and it's not going to be at the store. And, of course, if you look on the website for a lot of, um... TV releases, they show not at the store, but when you go to the store, they're there. Blacklist, I know, will be at the store, because it's a popular show. I don't think that they're going to leave Blacklist out. Um, and what was the other one? Yes, Avengers Endgame. That's definitely going to be at the store for Steelbook. So what do I look at Best Buy as when should I go now? Well, we're going to see what happens the next time I go to Best Buy. That's going to determine... Not going to determine this month. Everything's been pre-ordered this month. Because I can't count on Best Buy, so I have to pre-order everything this month. The way I look at it is that Best Buy is going to... The only point of going to Best Buy for the foreseeable future, at least at the store, is for steelbooks. But then again, most of the steelbooks I bought this year, you can already pre-order online. I'm telling you about one steelbook, though, that... This is you, that you can steel books you can mostly can't buy anywhere else. That's it's a Best Buy exclusive. I'm telling you right now though, the steel books will probably only be available, obviously at Best Buy. Um, now I'm repeating myself. It, it dis, this disgusts me. It really does. The Game of Thrones one will only be at Best Buy, and that's going to be expensive. And it's going to be at the store, though. That's not going to be an online-only item. And the reason um, why I say that is is because it's a very popular item. If you go to the store like I did last time for a steel book that was for Game of Thrones, you're going to find out that you're going to be very low on quantity. Four or five copies at best. They'll give you a little more than what they gave you for Gotham, which I think was three copies, maybe four. But they're not going to give you much. So get to that store right away. Um, I don't know if that's going to be online. I really don't. I can actually look that up. That'll be my last thing I look up for this video. Will there be a disgust? I really, I don't. They, they should make this a specialty item. But I, they probably won't. Because Best Buy isn't smart enough to do that. But, um, at least lately it hasn't been. Okay. We're going to look up Game of Thrones. And you don't even have to put the season in because it's probably going to be the first one that pops up. Keep that in mind. Game of Thrones. Yep. 
Okay, we can pre-order it. So, essentially that means... Okay. It doesn't tell me anything yet. Essentially that means it's free shipping, which means you can ship to your house. Which means there's no need to go to the store for that either. People complain about steelbooks getting damaged in the mail. Um, I think that's a mo that's better than going to the store and not getting it at all. Ain't I right? I know the steelbooks on Game of Thrones are gonna be so are gonna be scarce. They're gonna go quick too. You thought I was worried about Battlefield Alita, whatever the hell it was, Alita Battle Angel. You haven't seen shit till you see the way this Game of Thrones is going to sell. But that's going to be a huge point of, um, people are going to go to Best Buy and be very disappointed to not find it. They'll find the Blu-ray cut. The Blu-ray copy may even be a problem. They might find a DVD. I know DVD is dead, but that doesn't mean you have to insult the rest of the community. Finish this. I always say, don't continue new, sh new shows on DVD. DVD. They've been doing that forever. Even though many shows have just stopped getting releases, they still release a lot of shows on DVD. At least finish the current ones you're working on right now. Um, like all the NCIS, Criminal Minds, well, they did kind of shit the bed on their last release. It wasn't great. Um, release the current sets and everything will be fine. But if you just release sets from new stuff and then cancel it or cancel the current stuff that's already going is an insult. People paid a lot of money. You should give them the chance to finish their sets. It's DVD and Blu-ray movies, in my opinion, is it's small. I, I think movie companies would really rely on, you know, going to the movies and box office results. So if we have a few DVD movies and they don't sell well, the company's not going to suffer that bad. Look, Best Buy isn't going to shut down if they release TV shows every year and they don't sell them. Give me a break. They need, they have an obligation to these people. They do. It's really sickening. Um, that's why you don't see many TV set releases nowadays on YouTube. I, I'll, I'll do them for... I did one for Magnum P.I. Season 1, and guess what? Never saw anyone else do it on YouTube. Look it up. Magnum P.I. Season 1. It's for the newer one. You don't see another person do it. That's because people don't buy on... People like that want to buy stuff at the store. But whatever. Disgust is disgust. All I know is, is that things need to change. If Best Buy wants to change, they can. They won't. But if they choose to, it would be a good move on their part. Because I'm telling you right now, this is a huge hit. I had to buy two... Um, for pre-orders on the 20th, I had to buy two at Amazon... At two at Best Buy. I had never ever done that while buying online. What and if Best Buy doesn't have C um NCIS New Orleans season five or Blue Blood season nine, hey. You know I should I didn't expect it with NCIS New Orleans because they usually had three or four copies when I went to the store at Best Buy. But Blue Bloods had one copy last year, so I kind of should have expected it with Blue Bloods. But NCIS, regardless of what variant of NCIS you watch, you think they would all be at the store. I do know for a fact, though, that um, I pre-ordered um, NCIS um, Los Angeles Season 10. That's probably going to be at the store. And um, NCIS, just the regular one with Mark Harmon... That's probably going to be at the store, too. It looks like they're just picking and choosing what they do now. They have an obligation. Best Buy, because Best Buy can speak to all these vendors and ask them. I know that they're a huge co Best Buy is a pretty huge company. They can ask people why they're not doing this. You know, it's not right to our customers. Instead, they just sit back and let the vendors do what they want. And that's okay. Bye-bye.